So today's workout is one, if you are recovering from an injury, it is a seated based workout, it takes approximately six minutes. Now all these moves, if there's any area that you're perhaps struggling with, then obviously take out that move, you can modify it. We do do a lot through the upper body, so it's still going to get your heart rate up, it's going to make you feel energized, you're going to be burning calories, increasing your fitness. And what I'm going to do is just always show you the move beforehand, then we're going to do it for 20 seconds. So as I said, depending on your injury, just modify the workouts to suit you. And I always do recommend, it's always a good idea, make sure you have done a quick little warm up. Even if you hit the pause button and you're just seated on the chair, just move your arms back and forth, just increase your core body temperature. So let's get ready. We're gonna go into the first move. Now I'm just gonna show you what it is and each of the moves we're doing for a duration of 20 seconds. So seated in your chair, you're gonna punch one arm forwards and then kick one leg out and take the opposite arm out to the side. So let's get ready to start doing that first move. You're going to do this for 20 seconds. Now the benefit of this one, it also really works your mind because you're having to think about coordination. That's good. So you're just going to kick that leg out in front. Now if you've got an ankle injury, just be careful you're not putting any pressure really through that foot. So we're just slowly taking that leg up and down. All right, so now simply do the other side for 20 seconds. So we're just doing short bursts different moves. That's good. And so we're just extending the arms out. So you're working two joints here. You're working your knee joint and you're working through the elbow joints. That's good. And let's go last five seconds. Four, let's go three, two, and one. So you can see now the next move coming up, we're just going to imagine we're doing sprinter's arms. So you're going to sit nice and tall, tummy tight. And let's get ready, 20 seconds. So I'm doing this workout because my beautiful dad, who is so super fit, walks every day for an hour, went out the other day, it had been raining, he slipped and he's broken a little bone in his foot. So he can't really put any pressure on his ankle at all for a couple of weeks. So I've designed this for him. That's good, two and one. And we're now gonna do this move. So you can see this, we're gonna take the arms out to the side, have your palms facing in, and then let's get ready for 20 seconds. And also a lovely client of mine, Lauren, she went out and slipped off a pavement. So she's broken her ankle. And let's not forget, Tom Cruise yesterday was doing a um, stunt in London and he's broken his ankle. So for all those people with broken ankles or that are injury, here you go, you can follow this workout. All right, so next one now, this time lean back in the chair, hold the base of the chair, tummy tight, and just lift one leg slightly off, and now you're just gonna extend. Now we're just doing this one actually for 15 seconds. It's a lot harder primarily here where you're strengthening is through your quadricep, and you're just working one joint, your knee joint, extend out, and back, and if anything feels uncomfortable, just rest, listen to your body. You're gonna go 15 seconds on the other side. That's good. You know, and the most important thing is when you've had an injury, the recovery process is so important. Never rush it, always listen to your body, two and one. Okay, so next move, this time we're gonna work through your waist, so keep your tummy tight. You're gonna push your arm up, and over, so we do 20 seconds, reach that across, you know, and it's a good time when you're perhaps going through recovery, focus on your nutrition, spend the time perhaps where you would have been outdoors doing your exercises, learn more about nutrition, because being healthy and fit, it's the whole package, it's about having a positive mind, eating clean, and obviously moving, which I'm allowing you, hard to get my words out there, allowing you to do by doing this workout. All right, that's good, let's just keep that going and let's go another 10 seconds, reach up over and back. And again, still think, think about where your belly button is, draw it in tight to your spine so you're strengthening through your core, two and one. All right, well done. So next move this time, have your palms facing away from you and you're just gonna now work through the shoulders, take the arms up and swing them down. But imagine you're pulling something really heavy down. So you're really tensing through those muscles, working through the shoulder joints now. That's good. And because we're taking your arms above heart level, we're increasing your circulation. Your heart is having to work harder and this is where we're gonna keep you healthy and fit. All right, so next one, this is a great one if you're a little bit stressed with this injury. We're just gonna punch it away. So let's punch those arms across 20 seconds. Keep it nice and controlled. That's good. And reach that over from one side to the other. 
And again, sit nice and tall. A really good trick with your posture is always imagine someone's dropped an ice cube down your back, then straight away you lift that upper body, you squeeze the shoulder blades and you open through the chest, two and one. So this one now, imagine you are climbing up a ladder. So again, this is gonna get your heart rate up, it's gonna improve your fitness. You're doing this for 20 seconds. That's it, really good, nice control. Just imagine you're racing up that ladder, and it's all about keeping the body moving. So just because you're seated doesn't mean to say we can't keep you healthy and fit. Two and one. All right, so next one, we're gonna swim the channel now. Um, we're just gonna imagine you're just doing a swimming stroke, take the arms out in front. So we're focusing a little bit more now through the top of the back, through the shoulders, and through the arms. And obviously I'm swimming very fast here. You don't actually need to swim this fast. And well done, you've got last 10 seconds are coming up now. So let's keep that going. And because we're doing lots of different moves, it's a transition of going from one exercise to the other. So it's getting your mind thinking, your body working. We're working agility and motor skills. All right, so next one, we're gonna come back to those running arms now. So just imagine when you run, you think about it, your arms are such a big play in running. A lot of people think it's the power just comes from the legs. Well, it doesn't. Arms are really important. So this here is where we're doing a good cardiovascular workout. Keep pumping through those arms. Keep the upper body nice and straight for me, tummy tight. Let's go last five seconds, four, and let's go three, take it two, and then one on there. So we're just going to quickly also just redo two moves that we used at the beginning. So we're going to go for where we're just bending and straightening through. So we lift that leg and then bend it back down and open the arms out to the side. So let's go 20 seconds. So you take one arm out to the side, the other one's coming slightly in front. That's good. So I do have available a four week video plan ebook, which is designed if someone is in a um, recovering from an injury or also if they're in a wheelchair and they want to get healthy and fit. And the book, let's now take it 20 seconds to the opposite side, has different workout video links, which are all chair based. But then I also talk about nutrition and about positive thinking. So I will leave a link down below um, where you can find out more details about that specific um, e-book stroke video plan. All right, two and one. And then last move today, let's finish off. We're going to climb that ladder again now and we're going to get ready to do this last 20 seconds and I'm going to go through some stretches with you. And I'm also going to leave you a link down below for a video that I did. It's a virtual walk, which you could do if you were seated. You could just pretend you're walking with me just by swinging through the arms. But why you have to listen to it is it is my dad singing. Um, he is the most talented, beautiful singer and the most amazing voice. So do click on that and have a listen. Okay, well, well done, so I'm just gonna quickly do some stretches. So let's just take your arms up, interlace your fingers together, just reach up, get a nice side stretch. And now let's just take that over to the opposite side and really well done with today's training. Remember, it's really important. Make sure you drink some water and let's now just take the arms behind and just lift up so you're getting that nice stretch through the chest. That's good. And then we're gonna do the reverse of that. Let's bring those arms in front and just hold that there, feel a nice stretch through the top of your back. And if you've got any questions about training, then let me know down below, I'll answer your comments. And also if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you know someone else that's perhaps had an injury that will benefit from doing one of these workouts, then please help by sharing the video. And remember, be patient because it's all about making a full recovery. So well done and I will see you soon for another workout. So I'm going to leave you a link just up here in the right so you can go and check out my dad's incredible voice which I used on one of my virtual walks and I have to say I am the proudest daughter in the world and the luckiest to have the best father in the world. So anyway, I'll see you all soon.